Today we're going to talk about how to dominate from the back of the boat. With this COVID-19 pandemic going on, the number of anglers hitting the water is at an all-time high. States like Minnesota that sell thousands of fishing licenses every single year are way up. If you go into your favorite tackle retailers, you may notice that there's all kinds of empty shelves. They're out of rods, reels, combos. In my lifetime, I have never seen it like this before. Well, what that means is there's a really good chance that you're fishing with multiple people in the boat or you're fishing from the back deck because maybe you're getting interested in tournaments or you're just on the back deck because you're out with a buddy who's fishing from the front. So today we're going to discuss what can you do to really, really separate yourself from the angler that is in the front of the boat. And I can honestly say I've got a lot of experience on this particular topic, not because I was a co-angler in the back of the boat, but because I was a pro angler in the front and I had three consecutive tournaments where my co-angler in the back won their side of the event from right behind me. Although if you look at the bright side, I was on fish, but boy, those co-anglers in the back really caught them because they differentiated themselves just a little bit. So that's what we're gonna talk about today. In recent years, one of the best methods that I've seen for fishing from the back deck of the boat has got to be dragging something. And in recent years, a Ned rig seems to be the go-to lure. If you're fishing with somebody that's paralleling down the shoreline and they're up here in the front and just working parallel to the bank, oftentimes that means that in the back of the boat you're so close to the shore you really can't do anything you can't flip and pitch cover because you're right on top of it you can't cast up past the front of the boat very easily so dragging a lure off the back preferably at about a 45 degree angle is a dynamite technique for putting fish in the boat when you're in a very difficult position now clearly this works best in lakes reservoirs of pond rivers, those types of things where you've got a fairly clean bottom to it. If you've got a lot of vegetation, dragging a lure isn't the best choice, but day in and day out I have witnessed people on the back of the boat just catch fish all day long by dragging a finesse type of a bait, specifically a Ned Rig. So that's definitely my number one go-to if you're fishing from the back, drag a Ned Rig or some sort of soft plastic. My second tip for you is to really pay attention to the shoreline composition of the area that you are fishing. If you come into a part of a lake or something that's pretty narrow or you're in a channel, definitely fish the other side if possible. A lot of times when you go into the back of pockets or you're going up into a tributary, a creek arm, or maybe some boat channels, if you can reach that other side, if the, if the angle in the front is fishing off this way, go ahead and fish off of this side. You're getting some fresh water that hasn't had a lure presented to those particular bass yet. So that's my number two tip, fish the other shoreline if you can reach it, if it's possible. My third tip for anglers on the back of the boat is to target the inconspicuous pieces of cover. We can all look down a shoreline and pick out those fishy looking spots and you know that the person in the front is probably going to get a lure in there before you can. So pick apart those really, really inconspicuous places, that spot where you've got just one little branch sticking up out of the water. Maybe you see a tiny little stump. Maybe there's a patch of vegetation that's really, really small. Those places where other anglers are going to overlook, go ahead and target those. And the neat thing about them is oftentimes on those isolated pieces of cover, if there's a fish there, often it's a bigger and better fish because they dominate that spot. Number four is if you are working down the shoreline and flipping and pitching cover, make sure that you have on something different. If the angler in the front is using a flipping jig, put on some sort of Texas rigged soft plastic. If they're fishing a soft plastic up at the front, 
make sure your plastic is a little bit different. Maybe you've got a slower rate of fall, you change the weight. We just had a video on different sizes of worm weights. Make yours heavier, make yours lighter. Throw a worm instead of a creature bait, whatever. Make sure you do something different. And if you're fishing with just a buddy, this works out excellent because you can use the two of you to dial in what the bass are wanting on that particular day. But if you're flipping and pitching shoreline cover, make sure that whatever you start off with is different than the angler in the front. This next tip can make a huge difference depending on the water clarity. If you've got a slightly stained body of water or one that is clear, use the lightest line that you can absolutely get away with for the cover and the conditions. Now, if you have a body of water that's really dirty, well, then the fish are going to be really shallow and, of course, you're going to be using something heavy. But like I said, if you have slightly stained water or clear water, changing out your leader to the lightest one possible, especially on a tough day, could give you a few more bites in the back of the boat that the angle in the front of the boat is not going to get. And if you've got braid on your bait caster, braid on your spinning reel, it's super quick and easy to swap out that leader so you can go from 12 pound to 10 or 15 to 10 whatever it might be but if you're not getting the bites experiment with line diameter and i promise you that you're going to get some more fish on those really really tough summer days and my last tip for you is to fish a slightly different depth now obviously depending on what the person in the front of the boat has chose to do or where you're at on the lake or river this may or may not be possible but if you're coming down a shoreline and, and the person in the front is fishing off this side go ahead and try to fish off this side get that lure in a little bit different depth of water this is especially true if you're fishing in the spring of the year and the fall of the year as those bass stage and transition and come in and out of the shallows. If you just change up the depth by a few feet, maybe five feet, you could put yourself on a much, much, much better quality of fish. Uh, I was fishing a tournament on Grand Lake of the Cherokees, throwing big deep diving crankbaits, and I was attacking a 45 degree bank under a bridge. My co-angler was hitting the bridge pilings behind me, and he nailed, I think it was an eight or nine pounder largemouth out there, got big bass of the tournament, won the entire tournament. When that thing came up out of the water, it just looked like a big whale coming up to the surface but he was targeting a slightly different depth i was catching three pounders four pounders in the front and here he doubled the size just by targeting a little bit deeper water so anglers in the back of the boat that is a critical component to not maybe only finding more fish but a better quality of fish it won't be long if you're stuck in the back of the boat and you go through some of these different tips that you're going to have the angler in the front turn around and say, hey, what are you doing? Can I try that as well? Believe me, I've had to do that myself. So if you're in the back, these are some excellent tips to help you put more fish in the boat, better fish in the boat. And if you're thinking about it, if you've been fishing some tournaments and you want to take it up to that next level, check out this video right here on how to become pro staff. I think you'll find it very interesting. And don't forget to go out and encourage someone today. You never know how you might just change their life. For the Bass Fishing Life, I'm your host, Steve Rogers.